They're iconic, they're memorable, and they were never meant to happen. Sometimes an ingenious on-set improvisation creates a moment that not even a film's directors and screenwriters could capture, and unexpectedly cements itself as an unquestionable classic. Though they were never in the script, here are a few memorable movie scenes that just kind of happened. Caddyshack one of the most popular comedies in history, it isn't hard to understand why Caddyshack is a classic, especially with a cast that included Chevy Chase, Rodney Dangerfield, and Bill Murray. The film had a chaotic production thanks to the cast's penchant for constantly ad-libbing their lines, but Murray was easily the worst offender. In what's become known among fans as the Cinderella scene, Murray, as caddy Carl Spackler, fantasizes about life as a professional golfer, and the rest is comedy history. Come out of nowhere, he's got about 350 yards left, he's gonna hit about a 500 next back, don't you think? He's got a beautiful back swing. That's, oh, he got all of that one. According to director Harold Ramis, the improv ran almost 30 minutes, which is something we'd all love to see in a director's cut. Unfortunately, it'll probably never happen. I want potatoes. You'll chips. get nothing and like it. Dazed and confused. Matthew McConaughey has built an impressive filmography over the years, but no matter how many awards he wins, he'll never escape the three words he uttered in 1993. All right, all right, all right. Oh, it's become one of the signature lines from Dazed and Confused, and McConaughey improvised it on the spot. The actor claims to have based the line on a live album performance of Roadhouse Blues by The Doors. I've been listening to this live more live doors album and there's this in, in between two of the songs morrison goes all right all right all right all right <laughs> the line became a catchphrase on set and in pop culture and it's since become one of mcconaughey's signature lines in real life to that i say all right all right all right <laughs> all right pirates of the caribbean dead man's chest the story of Dead Man's Chest picks up with Jack Sparrow doing battle with the nefarious dead pirate Davy Jones, and as he's done in every pirate's movie, Depp gave a charming, bizarre performance. One scene had Jack parading around with a jar of dirt, mocking Jones and confusing his fellow crewmates. I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt, and guess what's inside it? Enough! Before filming, Depp asked director Gore Verbinski if he could improvise, and you don't really say no to Johnny Depp. Depp began to dance around with the jar while the cameras rolled, and Verbinski caught the genuinely perplexed reaction of the other actors. But really, after so much time on set with Depp, nothing should have been too surprising. Blade Runner Ridley Scott's sci-fi opus Blade Runner notoriously suffered from a troubled production, which included an ever-changing script that pushed the cost of the film ever higher. One of the movie's best lines, however, didn't come from the screenwriters but actor Rutger Hauer. Roy spends the movie trying desperately to find a cure for the design flaw dooming him and his friends to shorten lives. But by the end of the film, he's given up hope. As he's slowly dying, he recalls a short list of incredible things he's seen in his short life, which is partially improvised and altered by Hauer himself from the original screenplay's 30 or so lines. Hauer and Scott tend to disagree about who added what and where, but both agree that the film's most iconic line was 100% pure on-the-spot Hauer. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Also not in the script, according to Howard's autobiography, was the entire chase scene, which was originally a fight in a gym, and the dove that he's holding as he dies, both ideas that Howard himself introduced to the story. Big it's the story of a 12-year-old boy who makes a wish to become a grown-up. Against all odds, the wish comes true, and the man with a 12-year-old's brain, played by Tom Hanks, realizes he has a lot to learn about living an adult life. And one of those things you have to learn as a man is how to properly eat unusual foods. Hanks got caught up in acting like an oblivious preteen and improvised the whole thing. Director Penny Marshall found it hilarious and kept the take in the final cut. Full Metal Jacket Director Stanley Kubrick was known for his overwhelmingly meticulous demands of his actors, and his 1987 war drama Full Metal Jacket was no exception. Former drill instructor R. Lee Ermey joined the production as a technical advisor at Stanley Kubrick's request, but once on board, he expressed his interest in the role of Drill Sergeant Hartman. When Kubrick saw a video of Ermey insulting a group of potential actors, he cast him as Sergeant Hartman on the spot. You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece! 
In a most unusual move for the controlling Kubrick, Ermey was allowed to improvise most of his own dialogue, in particular the insults that made the characters so memorable. Your ass looks like about 150 pounds of chewed bubblegum, pile, you know that? Say it, sir! Full Metal Jacket won critical raves when it opened, especially for Ermey's performance. He's since gone on to a prestigious acting career, mostly screaming at people. The Departed while filming The Departed, Jack Nicholson often approached director Martin Scorsese with ideas about his character, a violent mobster named Frank Costello. In one scene, Nicholson totally surprised co-star Leonardo DiCaprio in the worst way. You got something you wanna ask me? Nicholson had proposed the interaction to Martin Scorsese, who allowed Nicholson to pull a real, unscripted gun on DiCaprio, who reacted with genuine fear. A little because having an unknown gun waved in your face is scary, but more because Nicholson was making every effort to be actively terrifying on set. Saving Private Ryan Directed by Steven Spielberg, Saving Private Ryan follows the adventures of an army squad in search of the title character during World War II. Matt Damon, who had just scored an Oscar nomination for his performance in Good Will Hunting, was cast for one of the main roles. At one point, Ryan tells a pretty odd story to his squad captain about catching his brother getting busy with a questionable girl. Picture a girl who just took a nosedive from the ugly tree and hit every branch coming down. <laughs> Matt Damon, an Academy Award-winning writer, improvised the story. The crew thought Damon had botched it with the weird, meandering story that didn't really have a point. Spielberg, however, thought it fit the character perfectly and kept it in the movie. Because who doesn't love a story about watching your sibling doing the nasty? Thanks for watching! Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!